oh, I'll tell you what, uh, it's given me both pleasure and nightmares, really. I remember last year coming uh, back to a, a tough camp, um, but in saying that, uh, landing on my feet back here, I think uh, all the boys have shown uh, what they've done previously, and now I'm just playing catch-up, really, because they've set a really high standard for me to come back to, and first day, yeah, tough day at the office for me, but uh, I can only get better, so hopefully uh, aim towards getting back to that standard that the boys have set. After the spring tour, my mind was on uh, the Premiership and also participating uh, in the European Championship. Great experience in terms of getting out there, uh, seeing what the Northern Hemisphere uh, style of play is. Uh, took lots uh, to um, absorb but also uh, get used to. Hopefully uh, bring back some of the uh, lessons I've learned over there. I started questioning myself if I could keep up with the pace here because uh, at the same time like the boys played a tremendous series against Ireland. Unlucky about the results. However, I mean, you look at the likes of Brandon Pangamosa and Tolu, they both really stepped up. And even watching the trial game, uh, seeing Falau running out there, geez, I, I don't know, to be honest, I'm questioning why I came back really, because they're really uh, setting a high, uh, a high standard for me to come back to. Going back a couple of decades ago, uh, when I used to play junior rugby, a lot of it was done up here in Merwe, the Colton, so. Uh, still keep in touch with a lot of the boys there. Uh, most of them live in Raymond Terrace. So it's great to see the young kids because they are the future. And we want to set a, a standard that hopefully they can aspire to uh, when they grow up.